In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, it is Too Sexy, The Evolution. Another episode of Marty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. Marty, Too Sexy is still here. It's still here, that was the big bombshell. Uh, was that I was keeping it and kept it, I have. You have. Now, even though Saab won the ultimate battle of our $3,000 budget car challenge, it seems that Too Sexy ain't going nowhere. It sticks and, um, around, man. Once you've got it, you've got it forever. Uh, there are a few things that let you down in the battle. Um, I thought maybe we could run through a couple of those things. Uh, and that'll possibly give the people a bit of a hint on uh, what we have in store for Too Sexy's evolution. As you can see, it's a little bit porky. It's a little bit, you know, sort of heavier than it needs to be. Yeah. We're talking, not Cheryl, the car. Yeah. Oh, car. Car. okay, cool, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. I mean, you can see yeah. from the chromies, chromies are heavy. Yeah. Um, that's probably the biggest one, so a little bit of a weight the subs? Loss. Did you race with subs in the boot? I did. You did, okay. I <laughs> had to leave it as I got it. There's some very, very exciting plans which you will uh, discover as you embark on this magical journey with us, which is the evolution of Too Sexy. I find myself in a fairly unusual position, having a car that is extensively and heavily modified and having to take it back to its origins. Martin. Evolve it forward and back at the same time. Are we unmodifying the Evo? We are unmodifying the Evo. We're, we're re-modifying the Evo. That's a better way for it. Yeah, we're re-modifying it. I mean, I'm excited. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Ever, ever since I saw it, I'm like, oh, imagine if, imagine how good it would be Was if. this your original plan all along? Oh, look, it's a turbo Lancer. Like, you know, it's, it's cool. It's just not cool at the uh, same time. Some people call them Mirages, don't they? Yeah, in, they're Mirages in America and some Asian countries, um, they're Lancers here. Um, um, and when you and I are near them, they're Evos. That's exactly right. That's right. Martin, what's the game plan, my friend? So the game plan is, um, um, if it's heavy, it's coming off. Anything superfluous to its bare, you know, form as a, as a car, a street car, a race car, whatever it's going to be, needs to go. Um, if something stinks, like if I go around and smell stuff and it stinks, can I remove it? Absolutely. Like I'm basic, I will sniff things. Yep. If they stink, I'm ripping them off. Great. I don't care if they're integral to its usability or comfort. Yep. If I smell it and it stinks, it's gone. I want the turbo to stay. I want my mad steering wheel to stay and I do not care about anything else. <laughs> Dude, you can, you can drive it. That way you're sitting in your own vomit. Thank you, Martin. You can bring it in more. That's fine. <laughs> Will it start? That is the question. Martin. This is something that I don't think was really made that evident in the video, but something that I understand you did, which is on Boost, Neon's come on, is that correct? Yeah, me and Dave. That's so lame, dude. Whenever it gets on Boost, there's a light show. Snakey's my good luck dino snake. You left everything in this car. Except I do have a confession to make. Everything. I have a confession to make. See what's in your hand right now? This goes home. I bought that on the way home from when I bought it to celebrate. Do you ever do that when you buy a car, you buy an ice cream? I do. Like yeah, the server I do. some petrol. Doesn't everyone ice do cream. that? Yeah, I don't know, I do. Yeah, I do. And I bought a mad ice cream, but that stayed. But everything else, except for your grotty toothbrush that you made me bloody Wasabi brush. Oh, look green. at that. Still green. That can go out now. We don't need that. That's the bonnet stay and old window wipers. Just made money. Wrapping paper. Oh, wow. That one was wet. Do you need the uh, SIM card still? Nah. Oh, it's wet. Why is the toilet paper in there, man? that came from. That was just in the boot, wasn't it? I think it was in the boot. I'm not actually sure where it came from, but it, it was up here. Ah! Sorry. 
this is awesome. You're getting a bit old. I've been thinking about, about this it. for so long. I know. It's all gonna go, man. All the filth. Oh, that just looks rude. I'm the Evo Unicorn. Oh, twist and tape. Nice. God. You filthy turd stained seat. You red vinyl demon. What is that? Lock nut. Don't forget to tighten it. Did that? Did this? Does this have lock nuts on it? Uh, no, it, see it did. I think what happened is someone lost that and then when I pulled the clutch oh, out, that's you why they remember it had out. three wheel nuts. And I reckon they couldn't find that because it had disappeared inside their filthy interior. How do we get these off? You don't. That lock nut's gone. That one's gone too. Yeah, no, that one is gone. The one in your hand is for the nuts underneath. No, but how do we get missing. this off? You don't. Well, in my case, I used pliers and then I broke. I actually broke one of them. Is one of them gone now? No, it's it's sort of gone. You can get pliers in there and sort of. Okay. Because back in you know 1997, you didn't want someone to steal your mad cramies, did you? Because the frightening thing was is that. You didn't have your complete set of nuts on your wheels, but then these caps were on top, which yeah. means someone knew. And locked it, and then lost the thing that locks it. And this just appeared in my seat. Yeah, that was, I think, like lost under the seat somewhere. Wow. It's quite interesting to see like the work that's gone into this, like now that you can actually see the amount of slazzer on there. Look at that. Yeah. Oh man, a retrim is pretty extensive amount of work. Like it's not a small job. You got to stitch stuff and like someone crazy. put some time in. Fixing a tool that I got in Japan called a top. It's a 10 mil mad little thing that you put in a little daka daka. Yeah. Um, but for whatever reason, the standard was, was a bit longer, the ones that they use, but our, the ones that fit our tool are short. So you chop the end off and then dick, they work straight in the dick. Really? Yeah, and then you got 10 mil and you go dak dak dak. I want to see if it actually works, Martin, if you've successfully dacked your dildo. Oh! Oh yeah! Like a boss! Oh yeah! Working, now, dude. get in there. Yes! Oh, well done. That's what it needed. That was the amazing. Kmart shoe. Well done. Uh, what? I thought you were going to boot it again. No! <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is so satisfying, dude! Car. Evolve! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, you win! Insert YouTube comment. I needed that piece for my Lancer. No. Where's the JDM? I lost it. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, the, the parking brake got me in the nipple. I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. It just actually got me in the nipple. The snake just fell out. JDM Dakar. It's um really well installed, as you can see. Uh, can you pop the bonnet and I'll unplug the battery like a professional should have? It's pop, I think. The battery will be really tightly connected. No, nah, it's already off. So, Too Sexy has a short shifter. Um, but unlike the short shifter we installed in one of our episodes, this one's just been cut through with an angle grinder. Now, it doesn't actually make the throw any shorter because if you imagine the sticks up here, actually we can, I can show you. If you imagine the sticks up here. That's all about the fulcrum point, isn't it, Martin? Yeah, like it actually, it actually sort of go on the same distance. I mean, it makes it all kind of there, but because the angle here is the same as the angle here. But if, you, if you're dusting it underneath, that's where you get the... Uh, the actual short shift, but anyway, um, which means you can buy these things and and actually get a legit short shifter in there, which will bring the point 
uh, here further down and change the fulcrum, you know, I don't know, some crap like that. I don't actually know how a car could make that noise. Can you see just how dirty that dash is? Does this help or not? Well, actually, yeah, it does. Yeah, look at it. It's mould. It is, isn't it? Because it's gotten it's all wet mold. in there. But normal mould is kind of like bacteria and water. That's human slime that has then turned into a forest of filth. You know, That's you can awesome. actually go and give it a mad thrash. It's the car. Plus, we can actually program it. Like yeah, you exactly. actually have some control. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, getting pretty pumped, man. I think it's going to be a winner. Quick update. Um, a lot of stuff is getting removed that we don't need. We do need a boot lid. We need a boot lid. But this one here. Is like chock a block full of dynamat oh, and other yeah. stuff, and it's just a pain in the ass to get rid of. And it's damaged. Oh, it's full of like wool as well, cotton wool. Yeah, and full of water. Oh, okay. So that one there is gonna go. How much does it cost for a, like a lens, a boot lid? Man, yeah, everything on these things is so cheap. I, there's ones wrecking on like Gumtree for 50 bucks for whatever part you want. Just really? Like 50 bucks for everything. I mean, give us 50 bucks and take whatever you like. These need to go too. Mum. I was of the understanding, and I could be incorrect, that these are standard Lancer taillights. The, the, the universe has, like, tricked you. Really? The universe is literally playing tricks on you. Because I always thought that the Lancer rear lights looked terrible. These also look terrible, therefore I thought... No. Do you know why? No. Because you've seen so many Lancers with these, you believe that they're stock. Really? I reckon. Is that what's happened? I reckon. Because I second-guess myself, I'm like, actually, maybe these are stock. What, they are? What if they are? Now, I'm not sure. Really? Either way, they're going. That's called a confirmation bias. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Like, that's the technical term. When, when you believe something, and then you reject any other information that suggests otherwise, and only taking the information that you believe. And I thought that these were standard. Oh. But you don't want them. Is that right? Oh, hell no. No, I don't want... Uh, is that, are they called Alteza style? Yeah, Alteza style. I don't want Alteza style on my Mad Lancer. You don't want them on anything. I want my lights to evolve. Really? Mm. Okay. So, these are coming out. You know what else can come out, Mark? Let's just get rid of all this. It's a boot floor. That's, that's, that doesn't need to be in there. That can go. This oh, can... What's that? A mismatched spare chromie. And that can... It's a chromie, but it's a different chromie. That's what I love about it. It's like, I got my spare wheel, but it's actually a different chromie. We're getting a mad pile of, uh, pile of Lancer stuff over there. Oh, free screwdriver! Yes! Oh, what's in there? Like durry smoke. It's like where all the durry smoke is collected or something. Wow, wow, wow. That's just... What's all that mess down there? All this stuff? Um, that's just what comes down in the seats, I think. Like, it's just dirt. What is that? Human stir-fry, man. It's just, it absolutely is human stir-fry. Tech screwed like through the body. Basically, there's a fuel tank under there. That's all that's under there. So maybe don't tech screw through where your fuel tank is. Top tip. Martin, I'm gonna to reveal to you my least favorite part of this car. Okay. Are you ready? And it's the simplest thing to fix. Yeah. This, I reckon, is the grossest part of the car. Oh, they need to go. These. That it needs to go. Is just horrendous. Check a play. Bennett. Heads up, Martin. What's cool is that we get to turn a car that I bought more as a joke than anything else into a car I would actually buy. 
if you could buy a mad sort of stripped out, you know, fast Evo done up little Evo thing for cheap, I would so be on that. I'd be on that like a drunk on a Cheryl. Carrying so much yeah, filth. That is feral. That and fart. That might need to go in the red bin actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of it straight away. There is so much stereo wiring in this thing, also adding unnecessary weight. And this has done its day as a sound off vehicle. <laughs> this is Beauty and the Beast. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of weight in that. Like a kilo there? of wiring, yeah, yeah. Took more. Oh, I broke uh -oh. stuff, sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Onto the pile. Wow, that pile's that pile's almost as big as the car. That's crazy, isn't it? Now we've got two piles of shit. <laughs> hey, look how clean it's looking. It's looking heaps better. It's looking really good. We don't need these rear seat belts. There's no more weight. There's some red left. Oh. That's oh, there is go. some red left. Bye bye six by nines. Is it? How, um... Oops, sorry Martin, I think I just broke a few clips. Uh oh. Oh! Back window's been smashed at some point. It's been in a car crash! Or someone smashed a... Or given... someone smashed the window, look at that. To break into it, probably. Do you remember when you first bought this car what I wanted to do? No. I'm, 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 I'm getting ready to do a bog repair on this thing, man. I'm telling you, my foot's going to land right in it. All right? <laughs> Don't kick it. Come on, man, we have to. Do it. <laughs> it bit me. It serves me right. It serves me right for disrespecting such an incredible vehicle. I was looking at that guard before thinking, oh the guard's not too bad, but it's not great, is it? That's alright. Man, this thing's gonna look good. It's a race car. Imagine when this thing's all slammed on mad wheels and all low and fat. Is your leg alright? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It, it looks, looks totally different. Oh yeah, dude. Exciting, uh, you got something that this car needed since the beginning of time. A fire? A wheel? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Except I actually have four of them and I didn't buy them off some dodgy dude on the internet. Who would do that? Dude, these are proper, like, legit race car wheels. Well, look, they're just the right size, the right fitment. They're gonna be mad. Show are you excited? Are... Yeah, I wanna see them. Suspense getting Show it up to the flat. Oh, dude. That is going to be awesome. Isn't it cool? That is going to be freaking awesome. They're in good condition, man. Very good condition. And even better, Martin, to go along with those. Possibly because they felt sorry for us. But uh, Bridgestone sent us some Potenza RA003s. Nice. Thank you very much, which have been running on all of our cars lately. Thank you. And they probably saw our last video and were embarrassed. Which was actually the only thing holding your car back. You know what's funny about them? What? Potenza? Yeah. Bonanza. <laughs> really? Yeah, legit. They're legit like a copy of that. Wow. Which I think is hilarious. And then it worked. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes with this. I'm sure it'll be much better. That's awesome. So we got in I mean we've gone from the bling with whatever those tires are to now proper. What are these with RE003 Potenzas? This is going to be boss, dude. These are... What are the specs on them? 4x100 plus 39, so they are front-wheel drive offset. Like, you could go all plus 20 and get them all pokey and big sides, because yeah. I actually just want them to fit. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we got. Plus 6.5, 39. 
SP1s. That makes them SSR Professor SP1s, I believe. That, that is awesome. Look at that, though. Look at that. Oh, dude, that's so much better. Yeah, I reckon that's the most trouble anyone's ever gone to to remove skirt in this car. <laughs> that's a really good money. Awesome! Wow, look at it. Look at Rear this. Rear bar. Look at the big spoon just hanging there, dude. Look at dog backed up against it. That's so easy. <laughs> Slowly getting better, literally getting better by the minute. The more stuff we took off it, the better that car gets. Everything we kick, the street cred increases. The little, the little twingle that you get, that you know, that little yeah, twingle, yeah. that increases by the minute when you're doing stuff like this. Yes. So Martin, there's a lot more to do, and I understand though that some of that's going to be a surprise. Much of it is going to be a surprise. Really? There's a lot of stuff still to fix too. I mean, that suspension is totally shot. It's just ruined. It doesn't work. Got to put our mad tyres on. Got to put our mad wheels on. We got to buy either another Lancer or other parts at least. Go to the wreckers. Yeah, find a wreck. Um, Luckily, there's lots of them. Which we can do next weekend, Martin. That'll be a mad weekend adventure. Mm. And all of that has to go to the tip. There's a lot of stuff, isn't there? That that's a mountain of two sexiness. That's a mountain of turd. That's what it is. <laughs> it really is. Anyway, of course, you can stay up to date with our balls, on the balls, on your face, on faceballs.com forward slash mighty car balls. Um, there it is. What kind of pizza? Oh, I don't know, something like with quinoa and kale and, and, and sweet potato and other stupid stuff that... Hey, does it have... is it red sauce or white sauce? Um, red, I think. Okay. Isn't it funny how people, like, they eat foods these days and go, but the Neanderthals ate it. The Neanderthals died when they were like 15 years old. Mm. You know what I mean? Like these days, advances, life expectancy is like up there because of advances in like technology and health and food. Pretty much because of Evos. It's an advancement of technology, you see what I'm saying? No. I have no idea what you're talking about, Martin, but well, that's my theory is that if, you, most if you was to, were to give a Neanderthal a Lancer that looked like that, he would have gone, Mark. And then you would have given him a lens that looks like it does now, and you would have gone, huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then if you give him a pizza with red sauce, he'd be like, huh. Pizza with white sauce? He'd spew like you did when you smelt the seat. He would. How good is this car? Gong! Oh, that was so close to my balls! <laughs> oh, it's frightening. That would have really been the worst, man. Holy shit.